Hello, this is Sammy. Welcome to Invest in Prayer. It's the greatest investment that you'll ever make in your life. Today, we have some encouraging words that will help you as you spend time with God. I've discovered a great thief among Christians lurking quietly in the hearts of God's people. This thief has stolen the most powerful weapon known to the follower of Christ, the mighty weapon of prayer. Perhaps this robber has inflicted more damage to the body of Christ than any of the known enemies of the church. Let me illustrate to you who this thief is. We have a man I will call disciple. He has everything he needs to be victorious in his life. There's no weapon great enough to defeat disciple. But he also has a responsibility. He must dress himself each morning, putting on the whole armor of God. On the other hand, there's a dangerous foe that I'll call enemy. He knows that he's no match for disciple. He can't penetrate that armor that disciple wears. Enemy must devise a plan to defeat disciple. Therefore, he appoints one of his fiercest commanders to devise a plan to destroy disciple. The commander's name is busyness. Busyness goes to disciple one day and he says, Hey, I don't want to coerce you to do something evil. I don't want you to commit adultery or something bad. I only desire for you to do good things. Let's get busy with a lot of good things in life. Busy with work, school, church. Busy entertaining ourselves. Let's just keep ourselves occupied. Disciple only wants to please God and would never contemplate cheating on his wife or killing someone, so it sounds reasonable to him. He gets busy doing a lot of good things. Then one day, enemy comes around his backside and attacks. Disciple is devastated because he's not had time to put on the whole armor of God. He's been so busy that there's been no time in his schedule for prayer. He's full of activities, good activities, but there's no room in his day to put on God's protective armor. He's left vulnerable to the wiles of enemy. He wakes up one morning and discovers himself doing those things that he would never have dreamed of doing. He's completely defeated. Scores of Christians are defeated, not because they set out on a course of sin, but simply because they schedule God out of their lives. Consequently, churches are filled with people in pews that are powerless. They are defeated by a toothless enemy that's been stripped of all his power and authority over the believer. Yet this enemy slyly and deceitfully removes the protective armor of God from the follower of Christ, and he finds himself defeated. Every Christian has everything he needs to be victorious in Christ. He must simply put on the whole armor of God. I hope this was an encouragement to you. Our next broadcast will help you to make the greatest investment of your life, investment in time spent with God.